All right, for today's robot ratings, I've noticed that for recently, we've been seeing a lack of actual, uh, like builds in the videos, and I kind of wanted to change that. So, for you know the next couple ones, we're gonna be mainly focusing on the the real build ones. And here's a build from Carlos from eight eight three eight D, a summer camp robot, robot in three days. Scores middle goal with top flex wheel roller spinning clockwise and the green rubber roller or the green rubber roller counterclockwise. Okay, so assume that it can it can score on all the levels. So i um, I guess it can score through uh, the middle section here for that middle goal and then the top one for the high one and the bottom one for the the bottom one of course. Um, I mean it's, it's very clean. I think I like the 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 zip ties here one thing i uh i'm wondering is how how easy is it under defense for for the balls to kind of fly go out the side here it doesn't look like he has any 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 uh thing on the side maybe i'd put like uh rubber band zip ties or just mesh on the side here to kind of prevent that from happening but yeah looks looks pretty nice i think he's still lacking a a match load mech here on the front, but I'm seeing people started to do flex, like like these horizontal flex wood intakes. But it doesn't look like it's fully connected yet. There's no battery. I'm mean, probably gonna put the battery on the back here alongside maybe the 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 air tank here or the the battery down here next to the three wide on the inside. But yeah, uh, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna an A tier. I think this one is an A tier. All right. We're gonna skip the CAD. Uh, forgot to post this, another prototype. Shout out to uh, 8000C. Okay, so here is a is an intake. And it's pretty simple hood again. Um, and it goes, it takes, uh, it goes through bands. So the, the back ramp is actually rubber bands, which is kind of interesting. I feel like, I feel like I trust zip ties or uh, poly or even mesh more than just row bands because I feel like they if you're running uh, old bands or anything they might snap and I just wouldn't risk that but overall the design's pretty nice um yeah they're not running the they're, they're running screw joints on the bottom as well which is really really nice because that kind of shows us that we can actually run screw joints without uh being having the friction be completely destroyed right which is it's pretty nice to, to to know that. So then, if you're still planning or thinking between go doing the screw joints on the bottom layer or just a regular lotion shaft, you can totally consider screw joints. It doesn't screw up the friction. Uh, like I I thought it might might a little. I mean, I thought a lot might a lot, but I guess it will probably only impact it a little bit. And yeah, I'm gonna this one an A tier as well. No tuning yet. Another another intake. This one you can see that they are running a shaft in the in the bottom, right? But it's pretty quick. It's another another front to front, um, and then there is a there is a a chamber in the back, I guess, a holder in the back, holder in the back. But yeah, it kind of just goes through the middle right now. I think they're they're tuning for the the middle. Is that no? This is the middle. That's the top, right? Yeah, they have three layers that can come out of. I'm gonna give this one an A tier as well. A lot of builds recently. Okay, we're posting this so. I can, I can rate this one. Uh, first year V5 450 RPM 3.25. Also, the friction video does not have enough bracing. Guess this is taking a while ago. Don't mind the music. Okay, so we'll just mute it, but we can watch the, the this video first. I mean, it's not too bad. That's definitely definitely not bad. And with yeah, and with more bracing, like the through wire you added, I definitely expect it to be a lot better for the friction to be at least a little bit better. But this is definitely pretty pretty clean for first year. I think it's a very nice build. Um, let me know if if, if you're if starting off in Vex, uh, having these videos and just so much more resources uh, to look at helps. Because I definitely think that helps. Because I remember whenever I started, there wasn't uh, a lot compared to like now. There's so much so much resources now to to learn from. But yeah, for first year, this is very nice. I'm giving it an A tier as well. Okay, uh, working pro. Oh, actually, let me let me see if I can find anything anything wrong with it. Um, sorry, it's not really not loading super quick. 
but I can just look at the the preview then. Uh, well, he's yeah, he's using nylon screws as well. That's very nice. Um, and this is very small, but like your shaft sticks out sticks out a tiny bit more. Um, I'm wondering what these are for. Is this for? Oh, is this is for the mount for the for the 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 motor, like the this this mount. Okay, yeah, for the motor. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you did you box the front yet? Yeah, I would box the front. That's the one thing I would do. Box the front, um, and maybe box here too. And you probably want to box this as well on the outside. You don't have to box the inside one, but just box the outside C channel for your your lifted your like um, motor for the six motor drive. Okay, work in progress. It's gonna do snail plus expandable top for storage. Should have ten to thirteen capacity. All right. Mm. It looks like it's going pretty high. Maybe it's just the, the how the camera, uh, how it's taking from the camera. But yeah. Uh, one thing I don't really like about uh, this is the standoffs on the inside uh, just makes it so much harder if a screw gets loose or like anything like that. It gets, makes it so much harder for you to, to be able to tighten it back up. Maybe it's not. Maybe unless you have a, if you have a bearing here, it's pretty much impossible. But if you don't have a bearing there, because it looks like you probably have a bearing there, because you have a you have a screw joint here. So if you're bearing that's like here, I would advise like at least maybe, maybe you want to move some of these standoffs around so that it's easier for or it's it's easier for you to retighten if it ever gets loose. But I mean, um, if you screw it down super tight, it's not a problem. Uh, you kind of ha have exposed wheels and exposed gears. I would. I would at least add something to protect it here, but preferably, you should have built your drivetrain, uh, like further uh, with the C channel further out, or just not have used this ratio. This is a very whack ratio. What ratio is this? So is that at least the same size? I don't even understand. This is what seventy to so sixty to seventy seventy two. What ratio is that? I'm gonna give this one a B, uh, a C tier actually. Just because of the, the drivetrain stuff. Okay, early stage testing. Here's just the... Alright, bro. <laughs> this view makes the robot look so small. Because he's like... On like a... <laughs> GoPro or something. But yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm just on an 8 tier. Gonna rebuild with C channels tomorrow. I guess this is the 1x1. One one. I guess he's using 1x1s. One one. Yeah, 1x1s one one for the... The front loader piece. Which will be more should be stronger oh wow he's able to score from the corner from the side that's cool this is pretty nice and then do we get a a match load pick no we don't or a match load video no, we don't we just get we just get scoring ones okay yeah i like how it shoots it in the middle um i totally think in the future teams will be able to control the speed you shoot it out at so then you can just put it at the very corner or you can shoot it straight into the into the middle right because if you have like a if you have uh, blocks at the other side and it's pretty much filled you don't want to push it in with too much power because then the blocks will just fall out so then you kind of want it to kind of just leave it at this corner at the side but if there isn't any you want to just shoot it straight into the middle every time so yes yeah, it's, 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 it's an a tier all right what's this all right <laughs> is that a, there's a pushback block on, the, on your house? How are you gonna get that off? That's a that's a problem. Maybe send a pigeon up there, get a get a pigeon or or a bird, and get, grab it off. But that's crazy. Okay, this is cool. Nice lighting you got here. All right, this is very cool. Oh wait, is this? I'm so confused. Well, okay, I'm so I I for a second I thought this was this was like an animation, but I it just is a a very well edited video. That's very cool. I think yeah, this is this is very cool. I'm gonna give this one an S tier. Very quick. I think very good editing he did here with the the whole process. Yeah. Because I was just like wondering where the balls came out of, where the blocks came out of. Anyways, this is very cool. Anyways, yeah, if you guys want to see more more videos like this, 
subscribe and like the video and you know i'll be doing a lot more actual builds starting from now